Girls, happy Thursday. Yesterday, you read a nonfiction book on Raz Kids. Remember, nonfiction is, it is a book that teaches you about something. It gives you true facts, real. So uh, you're going to take your nonfiction book that you read yesterday to complete your bubble map today. Now, if you did not read a nonfiction book yesterday on Raz Kids, you are going to have to go do that activity first before you complete this one. For this activity, you must use the nonfiction book that you read yesterday because I'm going to look through your bubble map and then I'm gonna go back and look through the book that you read to kind of see what you picked out from the book. So make sure that you use the nonfiction book that you read yesterday. Here are some examples of nonfiction books that our class read. Addison read Awesome Ants. Aiden read Animal Dads. Enan read Firefighters. Mia read Dogs at Work. Nyla read an, app, read an Apple a Day. So those are just some examples of the nonfiction books that our class read. Now, this is what we call a bubble map, also known as a brainstorm map because you are brainstorming ideas from your book. This is very helpful if you are getting to, ready to write a research paper to organize your thoughts. It's a graphic organizer, organizer to help you organize your thoughts. So you see I have a big circle here in the middle with smaller circles around the side, on the outside of it. So our topic goes right here in the big circle. So for example, Addison read Awesome Ants, so her topic would be ants. Enan read Firefighters, so his topic would be firefighters. And Mia read Dogs at Work, so her topic would be working dogs. So the book I read yesterday, and it was one of our read aloud books, is Earth Day. So I'm gonna write Earth Day here in the middle as my topic. Now I have to fill in key points from that book that goes along with Earth Day. And one of them was that Earth Day is celebrated on April 22nd. So I'm gonna put April 22nd. Now, the big thing to remember about bubble maps, and I know you always hear me talk about complete sentences, but when you're working with the bubble map, you are not writing complete sentences because you don't have enough room inside those circles. It's just key words about your topic. So April 22nd, I'm not going to say Earth Day is celebrated every year on April 22nd. I can't fit all of that in that bubble. So April 22nd is good enough. Something else is the first Earth Day was April 22nd, 1970. So I'm going to put first Earth Day, 1970. Or you could just put 1970 and that'd be enough. Because remember, you're not gonna write complete sentences. So 1970 would have been enough. Um, what's next? There are laws to protect the environment. So I'm going to say laws to protect. Again, it's not complete sentences. Laws to protect is good enough. When I was reading my book, Earth Day, Reduce, reuse, recycle, the three R's. So I'm gonna write those. You could do one in each, but reduce, reuse, and recycle in our book kind of went together. So I'm gonna put them all in one circle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And if it goes outside of my circle a little bit, it's okay. All right, next, something else if you listened to our book yesterday, Earth Day, we learned that kids can help. It is not just for adults. Kids can help. There are lots of things that kids can do and it gave us lots of examples of how kids can reduce, how they can reuse, and how they can recycle. So I have one more bubble and I might have a lot more facts that I wanna put, but I'm going to try to narrow it down and pick some of the most important things. And one of them is conservation. It teaches us in that book about how Earth, how 
birthday came about and it was because Senator Nelson, he wanted to everybody to learn about how to protect the earth, air, soil, and water, and plants, and all of that together is conservation. So I now have my topic, which is Earth Day, and the key points from the book about Earth Day listed around the bubble. So you are going to do the same thing, except you're going to use your nonfiction Raz Kids book from yesterday. So here's what I suggest. You're going to want to open the template. Go ahead and click add a response so you can bring up the bubble map and be ready. But you're also going to want to open a new tab in your browser and go to Raz Kids and bring up your book from yesterday because you're going to need to go back into the book. Even before I did this assignment, I went back and I read my book again just so I could make sure I knew what key points I needed. Good luck, have fun. If you need any help, Please let me know.